These are the operating instructions for the Endurit compact casting machine. This is the on-off switch. You turn the machine on. And on the digital readout, you will see the number 32 and also the green light down here. This cycle will be displayed each time the machine is turned on, which is the checking cycle. The green light should always be displayed and means the system is running safely. The yellow light comes on during the melting process. It automatically turns itself off after the completion of the casting. The red light indicates an error on the machine. The round knob is the heating element. It goes from 1 to 10, depending on how quickly you would like the alloy to melt. The rotary switch is for executing the casting. Stage 1 draws the vacuum into the chamber. Stage 2 lifts up the plunger or lock pestle through a pneumatic system, which releases the melted alloy into the casting ring. It releases three bars of pressure onto the casting. This is the digital control unit. The bottom number is the temperature you will program into the unit. The top number is the actual temperature of the melting alloy. During the melting process, you will see the top number rising to the number on the bottom. Here are the instructions to program the unit. Push the P button and hold it for a couple of seconds until the word operate comes on the display. Then you push it one more time and the temperature is ready to be changed. With the up arrow, you bring the numbers up. With the left arrow, you push the cursor to the left. You push the P button again and the temperature is programmed. This is the pressure gauge. It shows you vacuum and three bars of pressure at stage three. Remove the glass here to watch the alloy melt. This is the argon flush button. You can use it to cast in an argon environment. Here is the vacuum chamber. Move the lever to the left. Then, Open the bottom drawer. This is where the casting ring goes. The top opens the same way. This is the temperature sensor that you put into the plunger. This is the fork that lifts up the plunger to release the melted alloy into the casting ring below. You place the crucible into the machine with the V into the notch. Place the plunger or lock pestle into the crucible and move the fork into the center of the crucible. Take the plunger and push it into position. Then you take the temperature sensor and put it into the plunger or lock pestle. Now, place the alloy into the crucible. Simply close the top chamber. Now open the bottom chamber. This is where you place the casting ring. There are many inserts for it and they can be customized for each ring. Depending on the type of alloy you use, you can place the casting ring into the unit now or while the alloy has started heating during the casting process. To start the casting process, turn the machine to stage one. This light then comes on. It draws the vacuum right here. Next, you turn up the heating element. 
you'll see the yellow light then come on. After this, it will take about 45 seconds to a minute until the machine beeps. When the machine beeps, you turn the switch immediately to stage 2. You keep it on stage 2 for 30 seconds to add proper pressure on the casting. This makes the casting dense and full. After 30 seconds of pressure, you turn the switch back to stage 1 to release the pressure. The pressure is released and then you place it to stage 0. Then you carefully remove the finished casting and allow to cool. Once the casting has been removed, remove the temperature sensor and take the crucible out of the machine. After all materials have been removed, you can then turn off the machine.